So, this is the continuation of our lesson in solving rational equations. So, again, before we proceed uh, with examples in solving rational equations, so, first, uh, let's again define, so, what is a rational equation? So, pag sinabing equation, tandaan, meron siyang presence palagi ng equal sign. Then, pag sinabi namang rational, so, the mathematical expressions involved in the equation is in the format of the numerator over denominator. So, naka-numerator over denominator format tayo. So, para sabihin na siya ay rational equation. Okay, so let's proceed with example. So, example 1, so we have 1 over 2x plus 3 over 5 equals 1 over 2. So, again, medyo meron siyang difference sa mga naunang example natin sa ating last lesson. Kasi doon, dalawa lang yung ating denominator. So, isa sa left side, isa sa right side. So, kinocross multiply lang natin yun. So, eto, tatlo yung denominator natin. Dalawa yung denominator sa uh, left side at saka merong isa dun sa right side of our equation. Okay, so uh, what will we do now? So, first procedure is to identify the LCD. So, kukuha muna tayo ng LCD. Okay, so lista natin yung ating tatlong denominator. So, we have 2x, we have 5, then we have 2. So, pag sinabing LCD, what is the lowest number that can be divided to all three denominators? So, ano ba yung pwedeng i-divide sa 2? Pwedeng i-divide sa 5 na eksakto. Okay, and that is 10. Diba? Because 10 can be divided by 5 and 10 can be divided by 2 and 10 is the lowest number. Okay, and then, dahil meron tayong present, presence ng x dito, so, we will include x in our LCD. So, therefore, 10x is our LCD. Yan muna yung unang gagawin. Pangalawa, pag nakuha na natin yung LCD natin, so, we will multiply the LCD to the entire rational equation. So, RE pertains to rational equation. Nahirap sulat eh. So, LCD times rational equation. Okay, so let's proceed now. So we have here, uh, let's copy first our equation. So we have 1 over 2x plus 3 over 5 equals 1 over 2. Then multiply it to the LCD which is 10x. So the LCD is 10x. So now, so, let's multiply. So, 10x times 1. So, that will be distributive multiplication. So, 10x times 1, we have 10x. Then, copy 2x. Plus, 10x times 3, we have 30x. Copy 5. Equals, 10x times 1, we have 10x. Copy 2. So, we have here, okay, now, sim simplify tayo, simplify. So, 10 divided by 2, we have 5. Cancel x, kasi magkamuka, pwede na cancel. Plus, 30 divided by 5, we have 6. Copy x, kasi wala namang x yung denominator, so, kukopayin yung x. Equals, 10 divided by 2, we have 5. And then, copy x. Wala rin ikakancel. Then, so, pag nandito na tayo sa part na to, so we will proceed now with the basic method in solving equation. Di ba? Kasi wala na tayong fraction, wala nang ratio. So, kaya na natin isolve to. Okay, so we have 6x, copy 6x. And then, transpose 5, negative 5, or 5x, ito transpose natin sa kaliwa, magiging negative 5x. Equals, transpose 5, Okay, lilipat natin ng 5 sa right side. So, it will become negative 5. From positive, it will become negative. So, again, pagka-transposition. So, once a term passes the equal sign, it will uh, have the reverse sign. 
magpapalit siya ng sign yung kabaliktaran. Okay, so we have 6 minus 5, we have 1x, so letter x na lang yun, hindi nalalagay ang 1. Then equals negative 5. So the answer, for example, number 1 is x equals negative 5. Okay, so let's proceed with example number 2. Okay, so first, let's identify the LCD. So let's have first the three denominators. So we have x, 2x, and then 3. So what will be the common denominator uh, among these three denominators? So adding uh, the number that can be divided exactly by 2 and 3 is 6. So, ang LCD ng 2 sa 3 ay 6 and then merong, meron tayong variable x so we will include x in our LCD. So, our LCD here is 6. Okay, so next procedure. So, copy the equation 1 over x plus 1 over 2x equals 2 over 3. And then multiply the entire equation to the LCD, which is 6x. 6x times 1, 6x. And then copy x. So, ganun pa rin. Distributive multiplication tayo. So, multiply si 6x times 1, 6x times 1, 6x times 2. Okay, and then plus 6x times 1 again. So, we have 6x again. And copy 2x equals 6x times 2, we have 12x. Copy 3. So, cancel x. Simplify. So, we have 6. Plus 6 divided by 2, we have 3. Cancel x. Equals 12 divided by 3, we have 4. Copy x. Walang ikakancel. 6 plus 3, we have 9. Equals 4x. Transposition. Pagpalitin natin, so we have negative 4x equals negative 9. So actually, maraming procedure pag ganito lang itsura. Pwedeng pagbalik na rin na lang yan ang diretsyo eh. So that is the symmetric property of equation. Okay? So baka iba yung tinuro ng ibang teacher, pareho lang din ang sagot dun. So and then, so to remove negative 4, so divided by negative 4, divided by negative 4. So cancel ng negative 4, matitira ay x equals negative divided by negative positive and then dahil ito ay improper fraction mas mataas yung ibabaw kumpara sa ilalim so i-change natin yan ng mixed number so we will divide 9 divided by 4 so 9 divided by 4 we have 2 times 4 we have 8 9 minus 8 1 then we will express our answer as quotient remainder over divisor. So, gagawin natin yung mixed number na ganyan ang itsura. So, ang quotient natin ay 2, ang remainder natin ay 1, and then ang ating divisor ay 4. So, the final answer will be 2n 1 over 4. So, the answer for example number 2 is 2 and 1 over 4. Okay, proceed with example number 3. So, x plus 3 over 2 minus x over 4 equals 4 over 3. Okay, so let's uh, identify first our, L our LCD. So, we have 2, 4, and 3 as our denominators. So, the common number that can be divided by 2, by 4, and by 3 is 12. Actually, nung elementary days, meron kayong mga procedure kung paano kumukuha ng LCD. Kaya lang, syempre, mahaba pa yun eh. Mahirap pabalikan. So, in this case, dahil ito naman ay napapractice na, even in junior high school, so, minsan kasi makita mo pa lang yung number pumapasok na sa utak mo yung LCD nila eh. 
So, 2 for entry, the LCD is 12. Okay, so equation, we have x plus 3 over 2 minus x over 4 equals 4 over 3. So, multiply to the LCD which is 12. So, walang kasamang x ngayon sa 12 kasi wala namang x yung ating given denominators. Pero, so, that will be distributive. Uh, multiplication so 12 times x 12 times 3 12 times x and 12 times 4 so apat na multiplication yan so we have 12 times x we have 12 x plus 12 times 3 we have 36 then all over 2 minus 12 times x we have 12 x over 4 equals 12 times 4 we have 48 Okay, over 3. So now, simplify. So divide. So 12 divided by 2, we have 6. Copy x. Plus 36 divided by 2, we have 18. Minus 12 divided by 4, 3. Copy x. Equals 48 divided by 3. 16 and then transposition so 6x itatabi ko lang yung 3x hindi siya tatawid ayun ang equal sign natin na hindi tatawid ang 3x tatabi ko lang dito sa 6x yun so minus 3x hindi mababago ang sign equal 16 ang tatawid yung negative 18 so tatawid ang tatawid ang positive 18 papunta sa kabila kaya siya ay magiging negative 18 6 minus 3 so we have 3 copy x equal 16 minus 18 negative 2 so division method 3 divided by 3 divided by 3 so cancel matitira is x equals negative 2 over 3 so the answer is negative 2 over 3 Next, example number 4. Okay, so as example number 4, so will be your uh, assignment. Okay, so assignment nyo to, isulat nyo sa comment section yung sagot nyo. So, ganito ang pagsulat ng sagot ha. Uh, sulat nyo yung surname nyo. Hindi, wag na pala. Never mind, just write the answer. So, sulat nyo lang yung x equals kung ano yung sagot dyan. Okay. So, magyan na sa example number 4. So, proceed tayo. Next part. Example 5. So, si example number 5, pareho din. Kasi, na-lesson ko naman na yan eh. Okay. So, para magkaroon kayo ng exercise. So, Sulat nyo yung sagot din, for example, number 5. So, ang gawin nyo, so, number 4. Then, lagay nyo yung answer, x equals kung ano yung sagot nyo. Huwag nyo na pa nang lagyan itong, huwag nyo nang lagyan ng dash to. Baka malito pa. Then, number 5. Ang i-comment nyo, ha. Number 5, x equals blank. So, yan ang ilalagay example for example 5 so check in ko yan so that will be included in your assignment sa comment section nyo ilagay sa comment box may mga pangalan naman yan eh ok let's proceed now example number 6 so sa example number 6 ay medyo kakaiba kumpara dun sa naunang uh, tatlo sa mga naunang examples natin Okay, kay number 6. So, kasi ang denominator natin dito ay binomial. So, binomial yung denominator natin. X minus 5, X minus 1. So, these are binomials. Okay, so ang procedure na gagawin natin, for example, number 6 is cross-multiplication. So, cross-multiply. So, i-multiply natin ng 2X plus 6 times X minus 1. 
then multiply x minus 5 times x plus 3. Okay, so yan ang gagawin natin. So, cross multiply. So, hindi kailangan ng LCD dito sa part na to. Okay, so pag nag-cross multiply tayo, so didiretso ko na ng cross multiplication dito. So, that will be uh, 2x plus 6 times x minus 1 equals x minus 5 times x plus 3. So, gagamit tayo dito ng foil method. Dalawang foil method tayo. Isa para dito, saka isa para sa kanan. Isa para sa kaliwa, isa para sa kanan. So, dalawang foil method tayo. Okay, so let's have the first, the left side of the equation. So, we have here, 2x plus 6 times x minus 1. So, medyo mahaba yung solution. Pero kayang isolve. So, 2x times x, we have 2x squared. Plus 6x. Multiply yung 6 and x. Minus 2x. So, negative 1 times 2. And then, minus 6. Then, combine similar terms. So, kasamahin natin ng 6 minus 2. Kasi magkamukha sila ng variable. Magkamukha ng exponent. So, yung 2x squared, ko kukopyahin lang. 6 minus 2, positive 4x, then minus 6. Okay, so let's copy. So we have 2x squared plus 4x minus 6 equals. So then tayo sa pangalawa, foil natin yung pangalawa. So we have x minus 5. times x plus 3. Okay, so we have x squared minus 5x plus 3x minus 15. Pakireview ang multiplication of binomial by another binomial. So, yun yung foil method. So, combine natin yung similar terms. Negative 5 plus 3 combine. So, copy x squared minus 2x Negative 5 plus 3 minus 2x minus 15. Okay, so we have here uh, x squared minus 2x minus 15. Okay, teka mo na. Pabalikan natin yan ha. Kasi meron tayong second power eh. So pag merong second power, Ang tawag natin sa ating equation ngayon ay quadratic equation. Okay, kasi siya ay nasa second degree. So, meron tayong second power raised to the... Ang pinakamataas na term natin ay naka-raise sa second power. Diba? Kapag ka kasi first power, so that is linear... Pag exponent of 2, quadratic. Exponent of 3, cubic. Diba? Hanggang pataas ng pataas. Pag apat, quartic. Okay? Pero quadratic muna tayo. Stop tayo quadratic. So, base dun sa mga naunang mat ninyo nung kayo ay nag-aaral, ang format ng quadratic equation ay ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So, dapat ganyan ang maging itsura niya. Halimbawa, 3x squared plus or minus yan, ha? kasi format lang naman yan. So, yung ating plus dyan, pwedeng minus. So, 3x squared minus 2x plus 5. So, pwedeng ganyan, equals 0. So, that is the format of a quadratic equation. So, kailangan ganyan ang maging itsura ng equation natin para masolve natin yung value ni x. Okay. So, ax squared plus bx, again, plus or minus bx plus or minus c equals 0. Okay, so, balik tayo dito. So, ngayon, pag samahin natin lahat ng term sa kaliwa. So, kailangan mapunta siya sa lahat sa kaliwa, magiging 0 yung kanan natin. 
Okay, so simulan natin collect tayo ng mga terms natin and then pagkabi-tabihin na yung similar. So 2x squared similar na yung x squared. So dahil siya in positive, pag tumawid ng equal sign, magiging negative x squared. Copy 4x so plus 4x. Similar niya yung negative 2x. Katawid ang negative 2, magiging plus 2x. Okay, then copy, negative 6. Similar niya yung negative 15. Tatawid ang negative 15, magiging plus 15. Equals 0. Okay, so simplify. Combine yung 2x squared minus x squared. Combine ng 4x plus 2x. Combine ng negative 6 plus 15. Combining similar terms. So 2x minus x squared. So that is 1x squared. Hindi na nilalagay yung 1. X squared na lang. 4 plus 2. So that is plus 6x. Negative 6 plus 15. So that is positive 9. Equals 0. So ngayon, yung x squared plus 6x plus 9, naka-proper format siya ng quadratic natin. Diba? ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Okay, copy na natin. So x squared plus 6x plus 9. So we have x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 0. Baka hanapin yung a. Sir, nasa ng a? Okay, wala tayong a kasi ang a natin, 1. Hindi na lang siya nakalagay. Meron tayong a, 1. Hindi lang nilalagay. Diba? Ang b natin yung 6, ang letter c natin yung 9. Okay, so yan yung format natin. So, galing nandito yun ha. Pabalik tayo dyan mamaya. So, ito yun. Ngayon, paano sinosolve to x squared plus 6x plus 9? So, para masolve yan, we will proceed with factoring. Magpa-factor tayo ng trinomial. So, para ma-factor natin siya, so, gumawa ka ng dalawang set ng parentheses for the factors. So, i-review rin yung factoring. Importanteng ma-review. Okay, so, we will factor first our first term. So, x squared, ang factors niya are x and x. Kasi pag minultiply ko yung dalawang x, x squared ang lalabas. Pangalawa, ipa-factor natin yung 9, yung third term. Ganito ngayon. Paano mapa-factor ang 9? So, dito muna tayo. So, iisip ka ng factor ng 9. Diba? Ano ang mga factors ng 9? Ano yung mga pwede mong i-multiply? Ang sagot ay 9. So, that is 9 times 1. Pwede 1 times 9. Pwede 3 times 3. Yan yung mga posibleng factors ng 9. Diba? So, yan yung mga number na pag multiply natin, ang sagot ay 9. So, ngayon, ang pipili mo sa tatlo na yan ay yung dalawang numero na pag in mo, ang sagot ay 6. So, i-consider mo yung middle term. So, again, anong procedure? So, you will think of the factors of the third term wherein, if you add the factor, so, the answer will be the middle term. Okay, isip ka ng factor ng third term. Trial and error to. Okay? Kailangan napapractice talaga. So, factor yung 9. Ito factor ng 9. Na kailangan yung factors niya, pag in mo ang sagot, 6. So, yun na nga yung 3. So, lalagyan natin dito yun, plus 3. Sa kabila, plus 3 din. Then, equal 0. So, paano ngayon masosolve ang value of x? So, para masolve natin ang value of x, so that will be, ah, uh, hindi, lilipat ko na sa kabila, para diretso na tayo. So, x plus 3, ang ating factors. So, ang factors natin are, x plus 3, times x plus 3. Kasi kung siya ay naka-quadratic format, hindi natin kayang isolve yung value of x. Kailangan natin i-factor. So, para masolve ang value of x, 
distribute niyong 0. So, that will be x plus 3 equals 0. Then, sa kabila, x plus 3 equals 0. So, yun yun. And then, solve muna. Transposition method. So, that will be x equals negative 3. x equals negative 3. So, therefore, the value of, e of x is negative 3. Okay. So, the value of x is negative 3. Merong ibang pagkakataon na magkaiba yung value of x. Pwede yung isa, negative 3. Yung isa, iba, 5. Alam mo, ganun. Pero ito, nagkataon kasi magkamukha eh. Kasi perfect square yung ating factor. Okay, so that is example number 6. Medyo mahaba lang yung solution. O, isa pa. Okay, so let's have this. Example number 7. So, pareho lang din ito ni number 6. Okay, so cross multiply. X minus 4 times X plus 1. Then X plus 5 times 2. Okay, so cross multiply tayo. So we have x minus 4 times x plus 1 equals 2 times x plus 5. Okay, so sa left side, mag-foil method tayo dyan eh. So balikan natin maya maya yan. Nahin natin yung right side. So ito madali lang to distributive multiplication lang yan eh. So, 2 times x, we have 2x plus 2 times 5, we have 10. Okay, balik tayo kay foil. So, scratch paper tayo. So, we have x minus 4 times x plus 1. So, we have here now x times x, we have x squared minus 4x and then plus x and then minus 4 so simplify x squared minus 3x minus 4 so we have here x squared minus 3x minus 4 so now transposition pero we will follow the format of a quadratic equation Dito lang applicable yun na kasi may second power tayo eh. Okay, because of the exponent of 2, so we will consider the format of the quadratic equation. ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So, x squared, walang similar kaya wala tayong ilalapit sa kanya. Minus 3x, copy. Similar niya yung 2x, tatawid ang 2x, magiging minus 2x. Ah, hindi pala. Minus 4. So, copy negative 4. Tatawid si 10. So, that will be negative 10. Equals 0. Kasi walang naiwan sa kaliwa. Ah, walang naiwan sa kanan. Kaya, equals 0. Simplify. So, copy x squared. Combine yung dalawa. Negative 3 minus 2. That is negative 5. X. And then, minus 14. Equals 0. Okay. So, kunin muna natin ito. I-factor muna natin. Lipa tayo ng screen. So, x squared minus 5x minus 14 equals 0. So, we have x squared minus 5x minus 14 equals 0. So, dalawang set ng factor ang kailangan natin. Okay. So, we have x and x. Yun ang factors ng ating x squared. x saka x. And then, punta ka sa third term. So, negative 14. Okay? So, dito tayo. Ano yung mga factors ng negative 14? So, pwedeng... Uh, pwede siyang negative 2 times 7. Pwedeng baliktad. Negative 7 times 2. Pwede rin namang 14. Negative 14 times 1. Pwede rin negative 1 times 14. So, lahat yan, ang sagot dyan, negative 14. Diba? Yun ang pinafactor natin yung si negative 14. Negative 2 times 7, negative 7 times 2, negative 14 times 1, negative 1 times 14. Ngayon, piliin mo sa mga factor na to, 
yung dalawang numero na pag in natin, ang magiging sagot ay negative 5. Subukan natin lahat. So, ito. Negative 2 plus 7. Ang sagot dyan ay positive 5. Negative 7 plus 2. Ang sagot dyan ay negative 5. Negative 14 plus 1. Negative 13 ang answer. Negative 1 plus 14. So, ang sagot ay positive 13. So, therefore, ayun, ang negative 5. Lumabas ang negative 5. So, ang factor na gagamitin natin ay minus 7 saka plus 2. So, we will have here now minus 7 at saka plus 2. So, balik mo ngayon yung equal 0. So, ito yung factors natin ng ating temporary answer sa ating rational equation. Naturo na to ng junior high. Naturo-turo yan eh. Kaya lang, kailangan yung i-review. Kailangan yung balik-balikan. Okay? So, hindi siya matututunan na ngayon lang. Nasa akin yun lang matutunan. Kasi, syempre, i-discuss ko man siya. Maiksi na lang yung oras para i-discuss. Dahil ito ay na-lesson na sa junior high. So, kailangan yun lang i-review. Okay, so balik tayo dun sa ating... Question number 7. So, pag pinactor natin to, ang ating factors are x minus 7 at saka x plus 2 equals 0. So, galing again, galing dito yun ha. Yan, galing dyan. Okay, so yun. So, ngayon, paghiwalay natin. So, x minus 7 equals 0. x plus 2 equals 0. So, ito ngayon, dalawa yung sagot ng x kasi dalawa naman talaga eh. Okay? So, dalawang magkaibang numero. So, transposition method. So, x equals 7. Natawid yung 7 eh. Isa. So, that is the value of x. Pangalawang value of x, we have x equals negative 2. Dalawa. Okay? So, the answers are x equals 7 and x equals negative 2. Okay, so that is the answer for example number 7. So that will be all for our lesson.